Well, first of all, the most important thing to making uh, an arrow is the arrowhead. And uh, the first thing that comes to mind with most people is a stone or a flint arrowhead. But I like to use bone. Bone is a more easily workable material, and uh, I, I normally have better luck with bones. Take this bone here, for instance. When I broke it, it kind of broke off to a sharp point. It had a split in a suitable spot. So you see, when I broke it off, it's already kind of uh, shaped like an arrowhead. And they're heavy enough, bones are heavy enough, to get a big enough piece. So let's start with this. Okay, after 10 minutes of shaping, you see I've got a perfectly good arrowhead right here. And the secret to arrowheads is when you polish them, after you shaped them, if you polish them to a mirror finish, they slide through hide and flesh like soap. So that's why bones are better than most of your stones. And it's better than wood, better than anything else because of a super polished bone, uh, like I just said, will slide through hide and flesh like soap. And for arrow shafts, a lot of people like to use bamboo, but I prefer to use holly. And see this holly branch right here? Well, actually, it's the new growth off the, come right off the trunk of the tree. It's got two limbs that come out of the top right there. And I'm going to use this for the knock of my arrow. And of course, this is a nice white wood. It'll split easily. And I'm going to use this for my arrow shaft. I'll take a piece of flint. And scrape the bark off. Okay, see? The knock of my arrow is already made. I don't have to do that. Nice white arrow shaft. I got my arrow head. Now I need the fletchings. I'll just quickly split this feather in half and I'll have my fletchings. And to do that, I'm going to use this razor sharp piece of flint. And the fletchings. See, I got an extra length on either end. It doesn't have any feather on it. And that'll help me. Uh, tie that tight to the shaft. And where I'm going to fit the arrow, see I notched out the end, I removed all the wood from the center and just left a thin strip on the outer edges. And that'll, that'll tie in tight to the arrow, arrow head and, and it'll make the shaft straight. It won't be real fat at the arrow head. It'll be nice and slender just like it should be. Before you set the arrowhead, you put pine sap in that little notch so it'll hold the head in place firmly. Alright, I've got my arrowhead securely lashed onto my arrow shaft, but before I fletch it, I want to take my arrow straightening tool and I want to bend and press every one of the, the kinks out of it. See, you just gently pry on it in the direction you want to straighten it. And that takes all those little bends out of it, all the little curves, and it gives you a nice, perfectly straight arrow shaft. And I always make sure that the hole in my straightening tool is large enough to fit over my arrow heads so that I can straighten my arrows as I need. Now, you can knock a piece of bamboo if you can find it when you need it or you can split a stick and put a thorn in there and uh, lash it really tightly but I like to use a, a forked stick like this that has the, the uh, proper angle and stature you see this is the finished arrow all nicely lashed on there spiral tied Got my two fletchings on there. 
And that makes for a nice area. And for this project, I used a bone arrowhead, nice and sharp. But I could have just as easily used a stone. Of course, I'd have to finish shaping this one. Or I could use a thorn, like this one here, this basswood thorn. And this is the proper way to make a primitive arrow. My name is Jack Survival. Thank you for watching.